Tornado sirens can sound even if there's not been a tornado warning issued by the National Weather Service. Many people learned that on Friday night when the sirens went off in Lucas County. So who has control over when those sirens sound? Barrett Andrews live in the newsroom and Barrett sometimes simply up to chance. Well, over the weekend it was more of a fluke. In Napoleon, a lightning strike led to a siren malfunction and the thing went off, we're told, for about 15 minutes early Saturday morning. There were no storms and that's been fixed, but what about Friday? The clouds all across the area looked ominous that evening, including in Lenawee County where we shot this video. But in Providence Township, Lucas County, firefighters spotted rotation in the clouds. The sirens went off, but there wasn't a tornado warning. I don't want to comment on why they, they sounded their sirens, uh, but uh, based on the scientific evidence and reports we had here in this office, we did not uh, feel we needed to issue a tornado warning. So why did the sirens even go off? Well, they're not controlled by the Weather Service. They're controlled by sheriff's departments. Each county in Ohio has their own set of policies and procedures when it comes to setting them off, and they don't necessarily match up with the Weather Service's reasoning. Well, obviously it did create some confusion the other day. I, I think it's a pretty rare circumstance that sirens are sounded and, and there isn't a warning out, but obviously there can be situations uh, where that occurs. Wood County Sheriff Mark Vosilishin says they've got specific rules in place, like making sure the information is coming from a trained spotter to make sure false reports don't desensitize people. And this happens where people see a low hanging cloud with no rotation. It's not a tornado, but it's black, and it just happens to be a low flying cloud. We don't want to be setting off the tornado sirens when, when an untrained eye says, gee, that's a tornado. Now, still the obvious safety tip here. Anytime you hear the sirens sound, emergency officials say you should take cover just in case until you hear that the threat is over. If there is any, Vosolution actually recommends getting a weather radio so you'll get that information as soon as a warning is issued. We're live in the newsroom. Barrett Andrews, Fox Toledo News.